in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this presentation deck in powerpoint as you can see here i've added six options here home about us clients career products and contact and for each options i have given the relevant icon and how this works is when i click it this will enlarge and gives more detail uh, and it will show some images and uh, some detailed text so let's see how it works so when i click you can see here this got expanded and i have added some image here and the size of the home this text also increase and when i click it will go back to the normal position then the next one which is about us will expand you can see here again if i want to go back i can just use the up and down arrow key from the keyboard or you can use the mouse as well so you can see this is about us this is the client's carrier like that so let's see how to do this in powerpoint please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the rectangles rounded corners draw a rectangle this much size again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside so the curves the corners become less curvy then shape outline i'm going to make this as white and shape fill i'm going to fill this as white so it looks something like this but i would like to make this looks kind of a transparent or a glass effect for that right mouse click go to the format shape and i'm going to select the fill and i'm going to select gradient fill here gradient fill when you select the gradient fill by default there will be four stops so i'm going to keep only two stops the remaining two i'm going to delete it so i'm going to select this one and click on delete again select this and hit on the particular this remove gradient stop button so you can see here we have got only two now so the first stop i'm going to select and i'm going to choose the color which is white and here you can see here the transparency i'm going to make it something maybe around 80 percent then i'm going to select the second stop all right and again either you can just give a white color or a little bit a kind of a gray color and again here the transparency i'm going to give as 90 percent so it looks something like this all right so again if you want to increase more you can increase also maybe maybe i'm going to give say 95 percent all right and then you can see the direction you can just choose any direction you want here you can see okay so any direction so it looks something like this now for the lines also or the border or outline also i would like to give the gradient effects again select the shape under fill you can go and click on the line and here select the gradient line again gradient line one line i would like to give a white color all right the other one let it be blue color maybe this blue color and here i'm going to choose somewhat a kind of black color which we have used here so you can see here it looks something like this and again you can change the direction of this one again whichever direction you want you can just change the direction for example i would like to see my direction something like this all right again if you don't want white or the blue color you can just change any other color of your choice you can see here i'm going to make it maybe a kind of a gray color so it looks something like this it's up to you whichever color you'd like to choose you can choose it now the our main the background design is over ready now the next thing which you'd like to do is to add the details all right so first of all go to insert shapes again from the rectangles i'm going to choose this rectangle shape the rounded corner hold the shift key while dragging this one so you get a perfect square shape and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can just give any color of your choice so i'm going to give here kind of a light green color you can see here it looks something like this then go to insert click on icons and choose the relevant icon depending on your requirement so in this scenario i'm going to choose some 
random icons all right so let me just choose some random icons where i would like to use kind of a goal you can see here our objective click insert and the color i would like to keep it black only and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.3 only very small select this one and drag it on top of this one all right so if you feel that 0.3 is uh, small, small enough, make it 0.5 also. All right. Then again, make sure that it is properly aligned in the center. Then go to the insert text box and I'm going to insert the text box where I'm just saying objective. Choose the font color as light color, any gray or white. A little bit gray color, center aligned, reduce the font size to maybe to 12 and i'm going to keep it here like this all right so to show this one i'm just going to use only three examples okay so first of all i'm going to select all of these inside objects with the help of a mouse you can just roll over like this then hold the control shift key drag it towards the center and again release it again hold the control shift key drag it here all right so you can see here i've added three options and again if you want to change if you want to add more you can just drag it and bring it down so for this example i'm going to choose only three all right so now let me just select this icon go to the graphic format change graphic i'll say from icons and i'm going to choose the icon again which is relevant to my presentation all right so i will just say maybe so we have got so many things here all right let me just choose any one of these so okay let me just select this one and click insert so this uh, this in or uh, the particular uh, object or the icon got inserted and again change the text here to say again uh, where we are all right and then the last one i'm going to select again go to the graphics format and icons and i'm just going to choose some more where i would like to talk about uh, for example about the client so i can just type people here all right you can just type and again select any icon so i'm going to select this one and click on insert so the icon got inserted and i'm going to say uh, clients all right so you can see here this is how uh, i have just changed the icons and again i'm saying again if you would like to do uh, to add more again select all of these three hold the control shift key bring this down so it looks something like this and then the way i explain you you can change the icons all right so once this is done i'm going to do the next step is to duplicate the slide to do du to duplicate right mouse click and click on the duplicate slide you can see here the slide got duplicated now let me just select this shape and i'm going to increase the size so first of all let me just bring this down objective and i'm going to increase the size to maybe to 16 and here this size again hold the shift key increase the size and i'm going to keep it here and make it less curved you can see and this one the icon size i'm going to increase to maybe a 0.7 which is a bigger and sorry select this one move it at the top you can see here like this and then you can insert some shapes again here i'm going to select some shape a rectangle and here i'm going to tie some text and some image here okay so first of all to insert some image i'm going to select this one go to the fill picture or texture fill click on insert you can insert the picture either from your local pc or from the online pictures so i'm going to select the online pictures here and here i'm going to just type for example anything which is related to objective and i'm going to just choose some good uh, image depending on the requirement for example i'm going to choose this one and click on insert so the objective image got inserted here then go to insert text box i'm going to add detail text here 
again center align again if you want you can make it bold reduce the font size up to you we can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned all right and then this one let me just bring it more down again if you want to change the shape you can go to the shape format edit shape and i'm going to give the shape which is the rounded corner all right so it looks something like this shape outline i'm going to make it no outline so you can see here this is my first one and uh, first slide and this is my second slide so you can see this is bigger now so second the second slide uh, sorry select the second slide go to the transitions select the morph you can see here how it is increasing the size but it is very slow to increase the speed i'm i'm going to uh, go to the duration and reduce the duration to maybe a 0.75 seconds and for example now if i do a slight show and when i click you can see here how it is increasing all right so now i'm going to do the same steps but for the second option okay again right mouse click go to the uh, option duplicate slide now i'm going to bring this back to the normal size so here you can see here the size of this one which i have taken it's 2.92 and here it is 0.97 okay so i'm going to make the same size here and the size uh, the original size to this one okay so first of all i'm going to select this one i'm going to make it 2.92 and here also i'm going to make 2.92 and this is for example 0.97 right so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to make it 0.97 and 0.97 I'm going to delete this one, delete this text, reduce the font size to the font size which we have created before, that is 12, alright, and bring to the same level here with this, and this one also, I'm going to reduce to 0.5, and bring it at the top here, you can see, and this one bring it at the closer to this one. So now this one, I'm going to make it like this, a little bit less curved at the corners. This one, I'm going to make it as 0.7. And I'm going to move it up. This one, I'm going to bring it down. Let me just move a little bit up. And this, I'm going to make it as 16. All right and you can insert some detailed text if you want if you want to add some pictures also you can add so i'm just going to equals hello rem within brackets so this text i would like to delete some text sorry control z this is too much long text i'm going to reduce maybe depending on the requirement so i'm going to delete this somewhat text and center a line and put it here all right so now let's see again go to the first slide you can see here the objective and then where we are you can see here how it is doing the transition from one slide to another slide so similarly you can just do the same thing for all these options